Hey everyone, welcome back to Poplar Preparedness. This is another subscriber update. Reports coming from you guys from around the world and telling us what you are seeing on the store shelves in your area. Um, we get to hear from a lot of different places, a lot of different people. You're not just hearing my opinion or what I'm seeing in my area, but we're seeing across the country and around the world. Um, let's hop into it. Ruth C. says... Uh, how we prep for a snowstorm here in the south. Get a huge pot of black-eyed peas and ham. Uh, go, get it going on the fire. <laughs> if time we have, uh, we make a bread pudding for dessert. Lol, but seriously, I drove by my usual discount grocery yesterday to see how things were going. Parking lot was jam-packed. I was grateful that I could cruise on by knowing that I am well-stocked for now. I pray everyone comfortable we uh, will come comfortably weather the storm and any power outages um, will be short. The pos uh, positive learning experience for everyone. It's a good feeling knowing you can survive and help others. Thanks for the updates. All right, on to the updates. Kevin D says, up here in Rhode Island, things look a little better. Before New Year's, all the surrounding Walmarts were sparsely stocked. The chain supermarkets were fine. The Walmarts look uh, to be a little better stocked, but not up to pre-cough-cough -cough levels. The toughest stuff to find currently up here is cat food and cat treats. Once again, that is Rhode Island. Kitty Cat and Coffee says, I just got home uh, from Walmart in Cumberland, Maryland. I was looking for chicken in the meat department. The chicken section was empty except for three packs of ground chicken. I've uh, one pack of chicken wings and eight packs of chicken feet. Hopefully you can survive off chicken feet. You know what I mean? Uh, David G. from Southern Oregon says, Winco, ramen shelves nearly empty. Lilith S., Slovenian coastal area here. At our local Little, um, cheap pasta up 50% and very low supply. Only two varieties, and that shocked me a lot. Never seen that before. Tomato sauce, cheap one, gone. Prices of fruit and vegetables keep rising every time I go to the supermarket. Low on rice, uh, the cheap one. No cocoa. Very little, uh, very few liquid dish soaps. Frozen vegetables low and sometimes missing whole sections. Canned red kidney beans all gone. Canned goods are sparse. Rice too. But cheese and cream and cheese and cream cheese, uh, milk also stocked as we have a lot of cow farms around. It, it seems they shrank the varieties and got only two or three different brands, the cheap uh, and the other two very pricey. Shrank the toilet paper bags from eight to 10 rolls uh, for the same price. They have done it to a lot of articles here, rising in price and shrink in weight. Another thing, as I live near the port, I can see a lot less container ships coming in. Uh, like from 10 down to just three to four a week. Also, the prices of electronics, PC, and phones uh, grew 30 40% in the last year. Prices of gas, electricity, and water bills are rising. That is Slovenia, which, if you're not familiar, borders Italy and is just south of Austria. Valerie Ann R. Uh, in Connecticut says, went to my local Walmart on Wednesday and stop and shop grocery store on Thursday. The pet food sections did, uh, didn't did look great. Uh, there was little canned dog food and cat food, and there was limited brand selection in dry food in both stores. In Walmart, the canned vegetable section looked full but was fronted big time. Same with the rice, potatoes, and tomato sauce. Coffee, tea, and juice had holes in them too. In Stop and Shop, there were signs everywhere saying sorry for the inconvenience on most of the shelves. The cereal aisle had huge gaps in it. The pasta section was fronted big time with just basic pasta like spaghetti and elbow macaroni. Produce section looked like crap and the dairy section had gaps in it too. Once again, that is Connecticut. Lou's Northern Home in the Ohio border area of PA, says, I went to our local Dollar General today. They had sparse milk, and it had gone up to 385 a gallon. Pl plenty of eggs, almost no pasta, 
tortilla, salsa, etc., all those shelves wiped out. Low on dry potatoes and frozen goods. Also baking supplies, low. Had paper products. So that's good news. She also said a friend of mine in Salisbury, um, North Carolina, said that we went to the store and it was pretty much wiped out. So possibly in North Carolina, some areas, some serious holes. Van City Prepper, uh, Walmart's here in Fraser Valley, uh, British, uh, British Columbia, Canada, out of small flour, uh, honey, and Heinz ketchup. We're here from Pittsburgh, so maybe we'll send you some, okay, Van City? Um, Superstore has a lot more stock than Walmart. We have checked a bunch. Uh, Van City Prepper has their own channel, and they are watching what's happening on the store shelves in British uh, Columbia, Canada. Um, Thomas the Train says, <laughs> Warren, Michigan, uh, Warren, Michigan was at Kroger's this morning. They are still well stocked except for cooking oil and large bottles of ketchup. Steve M, uh, Steve W, sorry, says Port Charlotte, uh, Charlotte, Southwest Florida, chicken breasts nowhere to, to be found uh, for the last three days. No chicken breasts down there in Florida. Um, A Mayo says the shelves here in Louisiana are looking a lot like your shelves. Sarah A says consistent shortages in OJ in Vegas, North Town. Carissa says. Northern Panhandle of West Virginia and, and Northeastern Ohio. North, uh, North Virginia and West Virginia and Eastern Ohio. Hi, neighbor. I visited two smaller cities in both states, visiting their Walmart, Aldi, CVS, Sam's Club, and Kroger's, if they had those stores. In West Virginia, it was terrifying and terrifyingly bare in both cities. They weren't eggs. Bread, milk, butter, pasta, meat, cheese, frozen dinners, fresh fruit, ramen, frozen fruit, clothing, toys, paint, makeup, pet food, etc. All empty. Now in Ohio, everything was surprisingly well stocked. The grocery stores, uh, little tricks of spreading out products, fronting items, and putting out random items like plastic uh, totes, grills, etc. was still doing the trick. Um, so there weren't bare shelves. Uh, I couldn't find a single bare shelf. I think perhaps Ohio is closer in proximity to distribution centers, which is why they have more stock. Um, they have larger populations, so supply chains are sending more product to those stores, and maybe the panic has not struck this portion of Ohio quite yet. Uh, Ohio is does tend to be a bit more stocked up. There are a lot more uh, prepper-minded folks out that way, that's for sure. Um, Mr. Smith says, in Connecticut, my wife said Aldi's was in bad shape this morning out of milk, ketchup, sausage patties, low-fat cream cheese, salsas. Walmart was uh, not bad, still in good shape. Girly Girl Jersey says, Northampton County, Pennsylvania, and Warren County, New Jersey. Grocery outlet, dollar store. Uh, dollar Zone and Dollar Tree was restocked as of yesterday. All right, those are the reports coming in from around the, uh, the country and around the world. Uh, please do keep your reports coming in. Make sure you just put them down in the comment down below and then just uh, make sure you have a uh, some kind of location on that and just what you're seeing um, we are really looking for any reports you have of supply chain, if you do hear something, or if you do know somebody who is involved in the supply chain ordering goods or in distribution centers, we would love to hear from you guys. All right. Um, if you haven't seen my last update here in the Pittsburgh area of what I'm seeing in store shelves, you can click on that video right here, and I will see you tomorrow. Steve Poplar, out.